So I just made a video updating the riser, which I'm not going to put online because there's basically, sorry, nothing to tell. So the the only thing I've done is, sorry again, is to uh, build the riser, and I changed the script here, telling him, hey, look, there is number sixty four now out a riser, uh, sorry, uh, Arch ISO sixty four. So basically. The only thing I think is best is to put the ice online. That's the one I'm going to put online and test it on the right screen, on this screen, like so. Still too hot. So this is the project where you stick to Arch, the knowledge of Arch Linux, how to build an Arch Linux ISO, plus let's put scripts from Pico on it. So it's a joint venture. You can do exactly the same thing with the original Arch Linux ISO and then say git clone and get whatever script you built yourself or you get from Pico or you get from mine, right? But what if I can just type in Alice, wouldn't that be nice if I can just type in Alice? Yes, enter. Yes, enter. Done. I can go for dinner. That's the installation. The thing is automated. It's running. I can go on holiday, come back. It will be installed. Simple as that. How easy is that? This is Linux, right? You gotta love Linux. Everything is scripted. Thank you, Pico. Cheers. And still too hot. <laughs> so guys, take a look. It's called Ariser.eu from Europe. All is explained. Is this something for you? Build your own GitHub. Use mine GitHub. Use his GitHub, right? But there are se several parameters in there that you need to set. So that's why it's more interesting to do a copy paste of his or mine, right? His has Spanish as keyboard, mine has Azerti. So you have to figure out your keyboard anyway, if it's something different. And my choice is XFCE. So my, your choice might be Plasma. It's just a word, a few letters, and you've got Plasma. It's all scripted in the back end. If you want Plasma, if you set the vari a variable as desktop Plasma, then install, 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 install. And here come the old XFCE bits in. So it's um, a one-time job. Concentrate, have that GitHub ready, done. If you always go to the same thing again and again and again, always XFCE. And then don't forget, we have the Arch Linux Tweet tool. <laughs> I3, click, three seconds, installed, left over here, click four seconds installed so there is it's good to start with something maybe you rather start with plasma or mate or cinnamon or gno voila tell it to the github to put it in the the variables and do the same thing alice yes yes enter and walk away sublime text is being installed so even stuff from aur we are rebooting now automatically so this is how long it takes the video is four minutes right it's already rebooting i have the system is ready you can press escape or r to continue but there it is this is pure arch scripts everything comes from um arch Linux, except right the things from aor sublime text and all that are built on the spot with i think paru Hey, voila, what did you expect, right? What did you expect? It's just a pure arch. Screen fetch, I think, has been added. Uh -huh. Sorry, neo fetch, I mean. Neo fetch. And it is arch. 5.18.3 of today. Today is the 10th of June, 2022. Can we update? Well, a 
the Arch Linux way, right? Not with the word update like we do on Arch Linux. There it is, four lines. That's it, pure Arch. But being Eric, I get my Nemesis script in. And from there, data, open in terminal, Arch Linux Nemesis, open in terminal. How easy is this? Dot slash zero, enter. Bam. And all the rest comes in. I've programmed it to know how, look, I'm on um, on the riser. So I will do this and this and this and this and that. It's all programmed. I can, again, walk away. Scripts will do the job. Install, I don't know, Firefox and, uh, and Chromium and, and Melt for sure and Sublime Text. But it does it automatically. I don't have to start typing sudo pacman minus s and then Firefox, space, melt, space, etc., etc. We get tired of repeti repetitive work. That's why we have scripts. All right, let's pause this thing and see how it turns out after rebooting. And then suddenly, right, we're doing other projects on another computer, and it's finished behind you. Pseudo reboot. Boot existing OS. Hey, you changed Grub? Well, you did. That's the script. And here you have your own Ariser version. Yeah, choices. I've set them immediately. You can do too. With all the icons and all the themes and all the wallpapers, you can set anything. Scripting is something nice to have. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Fluent icon themes. I've added it to the list in the voila, Arclinx Nemesis. So next time around, next time. I won't have to type pseudo pacman minus s fluent icon theme because that's basically what's in the script. And it's a big and long, I was saying, it was a big and long, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, was interrupted. Now we're gonna get our fluent in. icons. Fluent, 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 here it is. But there's also fluent dark, so watch out with these icons, that's the only thing. I think that matters, should matter. So all kind of colors, right? Gray and all that. Uh, no file manager, voila. Gray, green, dark. Just going over quickly. I know what colors I want. Ah, uh, here you see the color. So this one is white if it's dark. Otherwise you can't see it. That's why it's not for the system icons, although after rebooting, you might think, ah, oh, yeah, it's also for the system icons. So that's it. Fly fluent dark for me in blue. That's what I like. And then I mean, it's bigger, smaller, right? And if we do Super Shift 2, this changes like this. Super Shift 1, it's back to that. Choices. That's all it is. And we have a system, and it's called Archlinks, built with the eraser, ISO, thanks to the Pico scripts. All right, cheers.